Got a nice frame from the brood nest here. I'll show you a couple of interesting things. Down here there's a drone just coming out. Happy birthday to him. Come on drone, you can do it. See those fat cells around him? Those are drone cells. And to the right and above him are the flatter worker cells. And if you notice, some of them are not capped, but they kind of look like the capping is being brought in. Let me point to it. This one, and that one, and even this one is a good example. They're capping it. Nobody's doing it right this minute, but they cap it from the outside edge to the center. Two here, very clearly. They've been working on them and closing them in. Um, as a contrast, if you see cappings that have been sort of picked at and pecked at and they have various small tears in them, that means that the workers were pulling them apart and trying to open them up and pull out mites or pull out a dead bee. So in this area here, you've got some larvae that are quite old. They're so fat, they're just filling the cell in a round C shape kind of, and they're gonna be capped very soon. So here's an area that's much more fully filled with eggs and small brood. So for instance, this whole area right here, some of those larvae are a few days old and they're just like a little smear at the bottom of a cell. Some of them are maybe three days old and they just stay as a larva and get fed for six days. They're an egg for three days and they are larva for six days getting fed and that's called open brood. And these guys 12 days under their cappings. So it's 3, 6, 12. And that's kind of easy to remember. And there's the one everybody wants to see. The queen. Can you spot the queen? So check out that her abdomen is about the same length as a worker. She needs to poke her abdomen way down into a cell to lay an egg in the bottom. And coincidentally, a worker has to put her whole body face first into a cell to feed the very tiniest larvae. Ah, look what she's doing. She's laying an egg. She found a cell she liked that was empty. She smelled it and measured it with her antennae. And she put her abdomen in and laid that egg pretty quickly too. Now she's checking out some other cells. She's already laying another egg. So notice when she stops moving, the workers form a kind of a circle and they call that the queen's retinue. When she's moving, they don't make that shape around her. She just is kind of pushing them and moving along and doing her search. She's searching. Ooh, she's going to lay another egg. When she's laying an egg, it's hard to see her if she's not marked because her whole long abdomen is hidden away. But you might see the retinue, the circle of workers staring at her. And when she's got her head and her thorax in, it's hard to see her because her paint mark is then hidden when she's searching for what it's a, whether it's a good cell to lay an egg in. She just will not stop. She is going and going, even though I got her frame up here in the sun to videotape it. So if she finds one with an egg in it, or one with a larva, or nectar, or pollen, or one that's just not clean enough, she skips it. So I'm gonna put her frame back in and give her back the dark environment that she likes best. So just to show a few more details, 
of what you might typically see. And it's May right now, it's the beginning of May. Uh, up here there's nectar in the cells, it just looks like water. This region up here is honey. They've decided that they thickened up the nectar enough and so they capped it. There's a cell that they're not quite finished capping, but most of these are, oop, there's one they gotta finish. But when they put the wax capping over it, it means that they believe it's thick enough and it's honey. But in these other areas where it's just open cells, it's too thin and it's gotta be fanned and we call it ripened more thickened up. I got tired of waiting for that drone to come out. I just want to show you what these guys look like. There's a couple of big drones there. They're the boy bees. They got big googly eyes. Kind of a big kind of shoulder area. We call it the thorax. Uh, they just look more husky than the workers. Just compare him to most of the others that he's walking past. So we got like drone, drone, worker, drone underneath the worker. And this is pollen, some golden, some pale yellowish, some orange. When they put pollen in, they don't put a capping on it. They just kind of kick it off of their hind legs and then they bash it in with their heads and flatten it down in there. These bees are getting a taste of it or pushing it in. They might have to eat it so that they can get their brood food glands really making a bunch of brood food, which they'll then go and dribble all over the brood because that's what brood eats. Come on, you girls, you can do it. Stop walking on my face. I'm trying to get out of here. Oop, there's another one getting out. One, two, three. It's a race. Here she comes. She's out. Woohoo! Come on, you slackers. Get out of those cells. Look at her. She's already going to do some work. The wings aren't inflated yet. They're kind of floppy looking. She's all matted down with fuzz and the humidity of her cell. She'll dry out soon. I think this one's getting out now, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, pull. Pull. Yes. Dun -dun -dun. I just kind of love looking at bees doing their thing.